Hello everybody, Malekith here, and welcome to episode 36 of Napoleon Total War Russia Campaign. Now in the last episode we had a bit of a naval amphibious assaulting. We've dropped two armies down here on Corsica for the last remaining stronghold of the Austrians. They do have two full stack armies, although this one looks to be mainly militia. They do have quite a few cannon though. This one up here we don't really know too much about. Again, probably a lot of militia. So that shouldn't be too much of a problem. Equally in the north, we did another amphibious assault and have dropped another two armies up here next to the last remaining stronghold of Denmark-Norway. So well, not quite full stack, as we can see. But you know, close enough. A lot of artillery up there for me. So we shall see how that goes. They do have a couple of armies sitting around, but they are nearly all militia with their uh, their fancy top hats. We want their top hats. Following that, it hasn't happened yet, but we are building up for the war with Sweden, which will be the last main nation that needs destroying. After them, all that's left are the small kingdoms down in Italy. So as you can see, we are pouring troops into Copenhagen. We also have a rather large stack over here. We've got three full stacks and more on the way. Again, not quite the full stack I was expecting. Let's drop those in there. There we go. Now we have three full stacks and more on the way. So, I think for our own movement, it's pretty much come to an end. Everyone's moved. Guys that got dropped off on the uh, shores can't move because they spent the turn, uh, you know, deploying. I think we're pretty much at it. Ah, here we go, Sabaneev. He needs to start marching up. Get up there. We can also send that army. And I think these guys, once uh, things have calmed down in here a bit, although they actually seem pretty happy to see us. Kamensky, step out of town a moment. Yep, they're fine. Right, you can come down for the invasion of Italy. Uh, which I've completely overshot and head to Greece. Ignore me. Right, head down this way. Similarly, the troops in here can head down as well. Just check that plate. Yep, they're happy. Good. You got left out. Join up with these guys. And then all of you can head down as well. So, that's the end of my turn. We'll see what the uh, reaction from the AI is to all of these troops that have magically appeared on their doorstep. And there's a couple of armies I forgot to move apparently, but they had their orders already, so they'll march themselves. The Austrian fleet's leaving harbour. Not quite far enough to engage mine while it's segmented. Austrian spy is making a run for it now their troops have been decimated. It seems the AI has decided it needs to send gentlemen everywhere. They didn't do it for the majority of the game, but the last few turns. Oh, sabotage my iron mine. Let's repair that then. Sabotage my theatre? How dare you? What was this? He 
Agent detected, agent detected, agent detected. My Admiral has gained steadfast for commanding frigates. Got a court of justice built. And a whole lot of stuff constructed. So, it seems they don't really care. Um, oh no, we've got a hidden army has been revealed. Right, who should commence the assault? Well, you've got no artillery. So we'll send you in. And they're ambushed by an army of militia. This will be fun for them. Let's fight it then. Oh, here they are. Austria, king of the trees. Must be part elf or something. Last few turns have been nothing but Austrian armies jumping out of forests at me. It's like the Germanic tribes and the Romans, except they're not quite as good at fighting as the Germanic tribes. Oh, okay, we're just starting, are we? You lot, go. You lot, go. Cannons, like it. Come on, militia, you want some? Come get it. Oh, what's that? You're fleeing already? This wasn't such a good idea, was it? No, it really wasn't. Get him. Here, have some angry Russians. And that is why you do not interrupt the Russian stroll through the forest. No one interrupts enjoying the scenery. Especially not militia. And we will claim all of your top hats for the, in the name of Russia. All your top hats belong to us. Goodbye, General. And it's over. So we lost 259, they lost 1623. Not quite the ambush they were expecting, really, was it? Hussars, musketeers, hussars. Yep, good. Bugger off. Oh, another ambush. By yet more militia who are hiding in the trees. Now this time they have reinforcements, but they won't start in the ambush, I don't believe. So these six units are getting a full frontal charge from every Russian in sight. Come on, Boris. You can do it. Right, where's these reinforcements coming from? Over there. 
Cannon, move this way. Sure, she's fine. Run, Malaysia. You not done? Good. Start marching this way. Oh, hello. That lot snuck up on me. Well done. Well played. There goes the artillery. I do hate red on green colour blindness at times. Right then, let's detach you guys to deal with them. The rest of you form up nicely. Crippling fire, go on, go on, bring them down. Nope. We're going for square. No, we're not going for square. You're going for square, though. Oh, is he engaged by something? No. There we go. All right, you get out. You two get out as well. They're doing reasonably well. Let's dispatch the cavalry to go run them down. You get out of square. And they're broken again. They're broken again. Oh, hello. Where did you come from? Right, wheel. Who is this? Militia. They should break shortly. There we go. They're gone. Let's get you on the end of the line. I don't know why you got left behind. They can keep chasing them off. Right, time to march on their reinforcements with their exceptionally large amount of cannon. Oh, that's a few bodies. Oh, here comes the artillery. Did 
they hit their own men? No, they just didn't like the cannonball going over their head because their morale dropped. Although they can send the generals dead, which is going to work in my favour. These guys down to 43. Right, let's not give them time to set up too much. That's what we got. Fusiliers. Militia. Militia. Okay, that's their opening volley. And the answer from the Russians is... Oh, devastating. And the fusiliers are gone. And militia deaths seem to be concentrated on this end of the line, but it was enough to break them. Yeah, they'll come back. They didn't lose enough not to. They got too many reinforcements. So we'll just hold position for now. Wait for my flank to uh, come up with the grenadiers. Let them just have a few more long range volleys at each other. And the fusiliers are gone again. And the militia's gone again. They charging? Nope, nope, they changed their mind. Charging strength of volleys, that's for sure. And they're down again. The downside to using militia, the yo yo style of their morale. You get them into range, they instantly break under fire, they run away, they come back, they instantly break under fire yet again. Yep, looks like they're out of range so we're reloading. Come on, turn and face the enemies over there. There we go. No, no, not over there. That's it. I knew you had a misfire or something. Why are you not firing by rank, you stupid people? Oh, there we go. Nice splattering of musket balls. Looks like it might be a good one for a change. Oh, here it goes. Oh. Painful. Reload, men. Reload. Just think, all this military training, they'll be good at manning water pumps when they're done. Go on, see off that militia for good. Had enough of them. Here we go. Let's advance the right side of my line. What 
we got down here? Fleeing infantry. Artillery, artillery, artillery. Good. Oh, this is going to be some um, extremely close fire. Let's see how much of the line melts. Oh no, they've all got to reload first. There we go. You can run, but you can't hide at that range. Oh, enemy cavalry. I wondered where they'd gone. Austria's emperor's own cuirassiers. Yep, time to leave. Run, Hussars, run! Oh, they could charge anywhere in the line, you bastards. Oh no, no, they've curved away, they want to take shots from everyone. It's the Austria's own, Emperor's own Curacao's death tour. Coming to a battlefield near you. Right. Now I think it is just cannon left. A lot of them, but just cannon. So spread the cavalry wide. Send in the grenadiers, wide formation. You go for him. You go for him. Send in the grenadiers to mop up in case the cavalry don't manage it. Here they come. Swords at the ready. Oh, slashing them down. Go on, you lot. Finish him off. Okay, we're going to slowly saunter towards the enemy. Saunter formation. Go! You saw the teleporting artilleryman there. So, 359 lost, 1,566 killed. Well, not quite, but you get the idea. With the Hussars topping the list, no surprise. Right. Have we run out of random armies to ambush we've made yet, yeah, Austria? Hmm? Because we're going to send in the other army now.
Right. Let's start with the monstrous artillery, uh, monstrous infantry line. With cuirassiers on each end. Go. Advance. We'll engage wherever we happen to run into them. Actually, they seem to be going for the middle here. So we will do that instead. Bunching up in the middle. Another interesting strategy from the AI here. That would that that would be your own church. I assume it's a church. Looks like one. Did you go to the Dutch school of artillery? I think these were the exchange students off with the Dutch school of artillery. Yep, yep, that's your building as well. Ah, this guy got it. This guy got it right. For anyone not getting the Dutch reference, you obviously didn't see the siege the other day. In, um, probably three, four episodes ago. They were kindly shooting the insides of their own walls. It's very helpful of them. By militia, we learned to fire in multiple ranks. We also learned to actually hit shit. advance them that way. They're all advancing around there. That's good. Reposition you so you don't shoot friendlies. You know what? It's the last stand of the Austrians. Let's at least make this some fun. Why play sensibly when we can have some amusement? First unit to get to their artillery wins a prize. Set the grenadiers, you can focus them. Looks like it's going to be these guys. Our men are running. And they're in.
Come on, Grenadiers, get them. Where are you going? They're this way. There we go. Come say hi to the general. And he's brutally cut down as he flees. He thought he got away, but no. Um, musketeers of random denomination take the top of the list. Nation destroyed. So that is the end of Austria and the last major nation. We just have some miners left now. So, let's begin. Move to there. Move to there. Oh, nice. Okay, let's uh let's have a little exchange here. 5 4 5 Gun Battery Army versus Militia. And of course it rains. Plan, this may be backfiring. Okay, let's start by placing all of you in the sort of open field region. How far can you shoot in this weather? Not far enough. Okay, in the open field region. Backed up by the howitzers. We will have the line infantry on the left. Because that's where most of theirs are. The grenadiers on the right. And we'll hit sit the general behind the howitzers and have the cavalry on the left. Right, let's go. So, cannons, fire. Victories, huh? It's soon to be yours. 
Come on, more shots. Some nice hits there. Nobody's in range of those yet. People being thrown about all over the place from this line, but not many are actually dying. It's not affecting their morale more. You would not want to be on the receiving end of this many barrages. General, stop blowing your bloody horn. You know what? Shoot him. There he goes. Well, one of them anyway. Combatant losing. We're not really fighting. Can't really work out which one's even the general. Anyway, here they come. I think canister is going to be the key to this. going to want to stretch the other way. The amount of smoke. Okay, well they've nearly broken. What is canister range? Ooh, right up close because of the rain. Okay, let's break their left flank while we're starting. What we got? Militia. Militia. Where's the enemy? I can't even see them. Okay, you three focus him. You three focus sort of that one. They won that yet? Nearly. Okay, roll up the flank. Watch 
just smoke everywhere. I can't even see the targets. We'll focus him. He's getting in rather close. You two focus them. You two focus them. You two then focus them. Barrage. Oh, they're running. They don't like canister shot. How's it going, Grenadiers? Seems to be doing all right. You three focus him. You two focus that. You two focus that. You lock on wheel. Excuse me, Smoke. I'd like to see my enemy. Oh. Oh, wow. No, nobody would stand and fight in there. Oh. Even my screen was going mental. Bye, Norway. Or Denmark, Norway. I have to say Denmark, Norway, or otherwise the Danes get upset in comments. You four can swap back to round shot. In fact, let's swap all of them back to round shot. can target fire the general. Let's see how you do. In fact, full barrage on the general, please. I want him to experience hell. Oh, you can try and run. You can try and run. That's right, that way. Oh, oh, bullseye. Let's bombard these guys down. Grenadiers, how dare you! Well, that worked. I should try that one in NW. So the cavalry are coming in here. That's that over, I think. And there they go. Under a torrent of our artillery abuse.
And I think global warming just gained enough smog to go up a degree. So we lost 271, they lost 3,484. The kills going to the Ulans at the top, then the six pound horse artillery, cuirassiers, another six pound horse. So it seems, oh sorry, that's foot. It seems the six pounders did better than the twelves. They get a triple promotion. Unicorns not doing amazing, but they did have shorter range. They would have missed out on those early shots. <laughs> we could liberate. No. Okay. So that's Norway dealt with. Are they happy enough? Yep, they're quite happy to see me. So, Sweden, you must know you're next. Okay, he's missing five units. He has five units. Hello. And you, and you, it's Kutuzov. Who else was heading this way? Is that everybody? Oh no, no, uh, this one. I've changed my mind on you guys. You can come down to Italy. I know you walked all that way, but well, stop complaining. Right then. Drop you in there. We'll leave them in there to replenish for a turn and then we'll drop them in. You two can group up. Sicily, Naples, Sardinia, good, they're all different kingdoms. It's nearly time to party. But I want everyone in position before we do so. You can protect that crossing. Against their Indiaman fleet. So, we will end turn. Oh, I forgot to turn you around. Never mind. So, where to begin? Let's put you down on the border with you next to him and you next to him and you next to him. You can wait in the town. Mm. 
You can head down. You can... Oh, that's an agent. Get out of the way. You can head down. And you can head down. We're not going to need this many. But, who cares. Okay, they're ready to go from the north. Let's queue up the generals. There's another one. There he is. Late to the party as always. Right, so you guys that were replenishing close enough, get on the boat. Actually, you know what? Actually, just jump on the boat properly. And then they can leave port. You can go in. You can jump on. I don't care about replenishing them. They're not going to be needed, hopefully. Right. So we could declare war on them this turn. He could quite easily storm them this turn. They could storm across there. Those guys aren't quite ready to go though. Right, we'll give them one more turn of grace. Diplomacy! Declare war! Okay. Who else aren't we at war with? Declare war! And Sweden. Declare war. And on that note, we will bring this episode to a close. Overall invasion force will commence next episode. So, hopefully you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Hopefully you enjoyed that video. If you'd like to see more of the playlist, then click the image on the left. If you'd like to see a similar game, click the image on the right. The icon at the top will take you to my main channel page, and if you'd like to see more content from me, then feel free to click the subscribe button in the middle. You can also follow me on Facebook or Twitter. Thanks for watching. See you next time.